Howdy folks, George Shively with you here on another project. Um, we are on a 1996 uh, 44 foot Maxim. Uh, as you can see on the helm, there's some older gear, uh, really old, uh, that we are going to be removing in favor of a uh, Garmin 8610 that's going to go in the center there and where the uh, uh, Raytheon pilot is located, the old 650 pilot, uh, we are going to be putting in Furuno Nav Pilot 711C. So just kind of wanted to show you what we're uh, dealing with here initially. We've got a uh, R11 um, XX radar from many, many moons ago, uh, which will be coming out. We'll be replacing that with a, a Garmin GMR um, XHD24. So um, just kind of wanted to show you how things look here. Before we get started, we're starting to take off a few panels. As you can see here on our way up to the radar, which is up top. So stay with us and uh, we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. Howdy folks, just opened up the helm here and going to give you a quick peek inside. This is not unusual to what we, we find. Um, a lot of times there's electrical tape situations like what you have here and you can tell just by looking at this, this, this isn't right. Uh, you got your DC block right there which is fine. But, I mean, you want to have your wiring neat, clean, identified, so that when you open up the helm, it doesn't look like this. So, anyway, uh, just taking things apart, we're going to be in the process of cutting the, uh, more of the helm out and uh, uh, cleaning up some of this wiring. So, stay tuned. Folks, this is what we're talking about here. Um, this, this is what you really don't want to see. Um, this was a Garmin setup. Um, your main wire here with all your pigtails on it for power and then your white wire there is the antenna the GPS antenna remote GPS antenna this is what you don't want to see um, obviously splicing is fine but there's a way to do it and it doesn't involve a roll of electrical tape it involves something called shrink tubing so um, just showing you how you don't want to be so stand by George Shively here, back with you here on the max I just want to give you a quick view of what we've done on the inside um, all of our new wiring that we've got you'll see the little white tags that are right there those are labels which tell us what the individual component is um, that one actually says Garmin on it difficult to see but that says Garmin so we know what we're working with um, our NEMA 2000 backbone is right there see that everything's labeled so we know what we're dealing with it's very helpful our autopilot located right there nav pilot 711c there's the processor um, you know nice and neat very important to have things neat and clean so stand by for the finished product howdy folks and we're back for the final view here um, you remember what things look like um, things are a little bit simplified now um, chart plotter, radar, um, right in the center we've got our Garmin 8610, uh, Fruno Autopilot, uh, Navpilot 711C um, right there. You can tell that they are integrated because they're sharing latitude and longitude. Um, real nice, real easy to use. We can go to our home screen, we can select radar, select single range, select transmit, and it's done. It's spinning up and we will have radar return here momentarily. And there it is. And that's a 48 RPM speed, um, which is nice. Um, just keeps track of targets a little bit better than the 24 standard RPM. Of course, that's adjustable, um, but uh, I like the 48 RPM. Uh, great radar picture. Uh, Garmin really makes good radar. They really do. There's really no uh, trashing on it. Uh, you'll see the depth at 7.3 feet. There is not a sounder on this module. This is not an XSV module. It is just a standard 8610. We're using a... Uh, a NEMA 2000 transducer to feed that speed in, or depth information to it. So again, final look here. We now Pilot 711C, Garmin 8610. As always, George Shively, South Shore Marine Electronics. Our telephone is 216-407-6553. And our email address is South Shore Marine Electronics at oh.rr.com. Thank you very much.